Hi guys. Hi. So today's video is going to be us showing you some of our favorite things from Low Carb Emporium. If you've watched our videos before, you know we love Low Carb Emporium. They have really the best choices in terms mm. of low carb products in Australia online. They also have some products that you can only get from them, which are awesome. Like they actually import them from the US, I assume. Um, so definitely go and check out the website and we have a discount code which we'll put in the description below So make sure you use that to get a discount off your order. Yeah, I think you get 5% Yes. All right, so we haven't even opened this box yet. It's like an unboxing. How fancy <laughs> I will say everything is always packaged very well for them. I mean, we have done a lot of orders over our We've never years. had anything broken. We've never had anything damaged. And there was like a glass warning on this one. I don't know that we normally get that. It's a bit <laughs> tough to get through the glass warning. There we go. Got in here so we always get they have these cute little cards thanks for your order kind of follow us on Facebook and Instagram and tag us and whatnot and kind of just tells their story a little bit and just a little um, thing about the peanuts. telling you yeah that the peanuts are biodegradable so you can just um, get rid of them in some water they just dissolve in water and go down the sink Okay. okay, what do we got? Okay, I, all, I will say whenever I do an order, I always start at like there's a new or just landed section and look at the new things to be like, do we need to try some of these? And, and they have these crispy. Oh, yeah, we need to try those. Yeah, crispy cauliflower bites. So, like, like crunchy, like dehydrated cauliflower. And these ones are barbecue flavor. What are the carbs? have a look so the, the serving is one packet so you probably oh, I like that you, but you probably wouldn't eat, like I can imagine they're probably strong cauliflower flavor but 4.7 grams of carbs for this packet this is based on the barbecue flavor which is usually a higher carbs because of the spices and stuff are we gonna try one full fresh cauliflower head per packet I mean, you're not eating a whole head of cauliflower in one sitting, like... Okay, uh, so they're... I'm dubious. They're very tiny little... Mm. Oh, Crunchy. They're good. <laughs> they are good. It smells very cauliflower. They don't taste like cauliflower to me. Oh, crunchy. There's not a massive cauliflower flavour. Mm. I could eat that whole packet. Yeah, I'm just the barbecue seasoning has maltodextrin in it. That's why it tastes so good. Mm, that's why it's sweet. They're quite sweet. Like the barbecue has a sweet. Definitely has a cauliflower kind of aftertaste. Not but bad. Very crunchy. I'm I surprised like you could get cauliflower so crunchy. Yeah. So that's Keto Naturals crispy cauli bites, and there was like I think there was like a sea salt flavor. There was a few different flavors. The barbecue, that was delicious. I liked that a lot. What else have we got in here? Oh. <laughs> Peanuts. Okay. We love having a packet of these on hand if Erica has a, a nacho, nacho craving. <laughs> we have a recipe on our blog for chicken nachos, which is really yummy using these. And of the Quest style chips, I like the like tortilla one's the best. I don't like the kind of potato chip version yeah. as much. They're fragile. Like they're not super they're strong like a Dorito. Yeah. They, so five fragile. grams of carbs for this packet. Ingredients not ideal, but you know, better for me than having no, corn chose. chips. Yeah. <laughs> what else have we got in here? Another one of our long time favorites. So these keto crackers we really love to take them with us if we're going to like a family function or um, you know somewhere where there's going to be dips and cheese and crackers mm. and stuff. Um, and sometimes we just have a craving for having some dip and crackers and whatnot. Yeah. 
they are good what i really like about them they don't have like they're quite bland like they don't have an amazing flavor but they're sturdy and perfect for dipping i will say they've just come out with a brand new flavor have you seen no. one garlic bread flavored crackers so definitely give those a try because that sounds amazing so they're from keto kitchen corner um, really clean ingredients. There's a little mm. bit of erythritol and stevia, but everything else is almond meal, coconut oil, psyllium husk, salt, pepper. So dairy free, which is good for you. And the carbs are 0.8 for a serving size of 25 grams, and there's three servings in the packet. So that's actually that's a right. decent size because yeah. we probably wouldn't eat a third of this packet each, no. each time. No. So yeah, really good if you're after a cracker. These are our favourite cracker that you can get at Low Carb Emporium. What else have we got? What else? So, this was also in the new section. So, this is from La Carco and it's a salted caramel monk fruit sweetener. So, it's monk fruit and erythritol blend. 0.8 grams of carbs per serving and a serving looks like maybe a teaspoon. Um, so it's kind of for your coffee or something well, you like that if you like it Well, you can kind sweet. of cook with it as well. I was just like, hmm, salted caramel. Dan loves anything salted caramel. So I was interested to see what I could come up with with that. So that sounded interesting and it was from the new section. What do we got in here? Oh, this is going to be... That's the favorite. chocolate. So they always wrap the chocolate in that kind of... Um, I think to help protect it from the heat and uh, they yeah. do have an option i noticed when i was doing the order you could pay like a little bit extra and have an ice brick included so if it's going to be left on your doorstep all day or if you live somewhere really remote where it's going to take days to get there where it's quite hot so it looks like we've got a couple of different flavors here so again we talk about these a lot. They're the Vita Works. The blue one is the milk chocolate and the white one is the white chocolate. And these are by far our favorite kind of milk Keto white um, yeah. chocolate. We do like the Lindt, that's a dark 85%. chocolate. Um, but these are a massive treat for us. We love having some of these on hand when we feel like we want to treat. Like if we're watching a movie or something, we might take some of this with us. Mm -hmm. Gosh, everything. <laughs> it's amazing. We have to do the. the okay, pasta. these guys I bought. They're like a soybean organic spaghetti. Um, we've actually tried them. I think once before, and it really is like the closest kind of pasta replacement that we've had. Like, you know, hands above cognac noodles mm -hmm. as like a pasta replacement the cognac noodles are good in asian dishes because they're more got like a rice noodle kind of texture and they, they don't work super well in like a creamy pasta sauce kind yeah, of thing so in, I in, in my opinion want to try like a kind of making a carbonara type recipe for our website so i wanted to use these so for this packet serves four people and for one serve it's 1.7 grams of carbs so pretty like manageable and there's all different ones there's this edamame. is soybean there's edamame and they have feta some fettuccine some spaghetti so i think there's a black bean options. one as well as yeah you yeah yep yeah. so now these are going to depend on what ingredients you have some people choose to not have soy um, mm -hmm. so it's completely up to you around whether you go down the soybean or you, you're choosing not to eat soy so something else that i this is i really love these this is the simply delicious kind of jelly option that they have at um low carb emporium and the good thing about this compared to the ones like the diet jelly that you the buy at the supermarket ones. is that these are sweetened with in another language Do you have English? yeah so these are sweetened with stevia and erythritol so the ones that you get at the supermarket no they're like aspartame mm. like the artificial sweetness so this one's a more natural sweetness 
And this peach one is a really nice flavour. We've also used the raspberry one before in our trifle. What's the clear one? Yeah, this one. So this one's Unflavored. not flavoured. So I was like, oh, could you make your own whatever flavour you kind of like? I like the idea of that. But the peach one that we've tried before, and it's actually... It just tastes like peach, doesn't it? Yeah. It's really nice and that's not a normal, you know, easy to come across kind of low carb flavour. And they're good. People use these a lot to make like little jellies, lollies kind of things. Yes. Um, we probably don't eat jelly, but no. we would use them to make little kind of gummies. Yeah, and less than one gram of carb per serve. So this is new again. Um, it's from Noosa Cookhouse. The collagen cookie. I will say <laughs> collagen cookie. It's light as a feather, <laughs> so I can't imagine that there's much so it's going got on. So ten grams of collagen in it, and it's only one point point one, one. And this is a whole serve, which I like. I don't like it when yeah, especially with a cookie. Yeah. <laughs> um. So the ingredients are natural coconut ice cream. What? So it says. <laughs> Organic coconut milk, so this is what's gone into the ice cream. Organic coconut milk, organic coconut nectar, organic coconut water, chicory root, organic tapioca, guar gum, collagen, macadamia nuts, and honey. So some of those ingredients are things that we probably wouldn't eat normally on a keto diet, but there's it's low carb still. Yeah. Um, it's vanilla. The flavour of it's vanilla honey. Yeah. So the honey is the last ingredient, so yeah. it's minimal. And for it to have and point it has to one. be minimal. Yeah. yeah. That can be sweetener, like can be sugar as well. Or is it like a vinegar? I don't know. Are we trying it? Yeah. I mean, a collagen cookie. If yeah. <laughs> In one of our Facebook lives, we tried the broth cookie. Ooh, okay. Oh my god, what is that? This is the weirdest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. It looks like a spaceship. So is it's it like ice messy. cream that's dehydrated? Is that what it is, do you reckon? It's like a meringue. Ah. It's like... That's so weird. It really has. Mmm. tastes nutty macadamia not like ah, yeah macadamia that's what I'm getting that's nice that is that is so unusual I like it mm. it's like a dehydrated coconut milk almost it's got a really nice flavor though that is so unusual I've never had anything like that it's nice the texture of it's almost like the inside of a clinker you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like that soft part of honeycomb. Mmm, but it's not hard. Like, mm. it's not like, yeah. You know how sometimes so unusual. when you get like a violet crumble and there's that soft melty part? That's what it tastes like to me. It's really, yeah, it's very light and very, yeah, how interesting. Maybe there you go. Yes, it's, uh, it's maybe a mess. What else have we got in here? Okay. So we've got some pantry staples. So like Erica said, we've done some new stuff that we've never had before and the stuff we order reasonably frequently. We'd probably do a low carb emporium order about once a month, would you say? Yeah. Okay, so this is Ozganics is the brand. It's a bolognese like pasta sauce with no added sugar. So I like that you can get the, you know, organic ones with good ingredients there just for, you know, chuck together with some mints and zoodles. Great for like kids that. and stuff. If you need something quick throw together, that's awesome. Yeah. So just a pantry staple. What else have we got in here? We probably need to. Should we unwrap them? We might just unwrap some of these. <laughs> I will say I tend to keep all of the bubble wrap because we move enough that we are people who <laughs> hoard bubble wrap. I just have it in bags in our um, shed. So this all just gets kept so it doesn't get wasted. I even keep the low carb emporium boxes because they're good for moving. If anyone else is like a nomad like us. So where were we at? Do, we do this. So this is just another pasta sauce, no added sugar, tomato and basil, organics, pretty much similar to the other one. Yeah, just a different flavour, is it yeah. bolognese and tomato and basil? Yeah. 
Okay, so this has quickly become one of our favorites. It's reasonably new, right? Mm. Like maybe the mm -hmm. last six to 12 months. Um, it's from Meadow and Marrow, who are the guys that do the um, bone broth concentrate. And they're now doing this bone broth sauce. It's like a flavored mayo. Yeah, it's, to me it's like barbecue sauce and mayo mixed together, which is delicious. Better Belly Barbecue is the flavor. It's very smoky too. It's delicious. Yeah. It's great to add to like cooked meat, like chicken yeah. or yeah. whatever. It's really, really yummy. Um, the carbs is 2.2 for 20 mils, so about a tablespoon-ish. Yeah. Um, and it's totally worth the 2.2. It's got bone broth in it, so you know, it must be carbs. good for yeah. you. <laughs> so it's got like special water, olive oil, the bone broth concentrate, um, tamarind pulp. Oh sea salt, dried onion, psyllium husk, garlic powder, lemon juice, mustard, paprika, guar fiber, and monk fruit extract. Yeah, so the base of it is olive oil, which is good rather than, you know, mayos you would get at the supermarket. We've got some of this Hawthorne Hill Farm sugar-free lemon spread, which we have used in our cheesecake fluff recipe mm -hmm. this is really yummy we're filming a video for it so we're gonna have to make it again <laughs> oh, life. i can't even eat it so but it's literally three ingredients this is one of them and it makes it sweet and lemony and tangy and delicious it's delicious another real staple for so these jams are a staple we have quite a few different ones mm -hmm. in our um fridge in our cupboard and we use them to kind of i use them to sweeten like chia pudding maybe mm -hmm. if i wanted a little like bit a of bit different of flavor or something another big staple mainly oh no this is new yes yes i saw the good sauce i was and like I thought staple it was we've the, never had it before <laughs> i thought it was the um barbecue sauce because it actually looks in color more like barbecue sauce than that real red sweet chili sauce mm. you're used to buying at the supermarket, but it is, I gave it away, sweet chili sauce. We haven't tried it yet. No, it's new. I'm not about to crack the bottle and have a I sweet. I want to smell it. Because I'm interested about making like a stir fry or something with it. Because we haven't really had sweet chili sauce since we've been low carb. Oh yeah, it smells just like sweet chili oh, sauce. Oh, it does. Oh, Gingery. 100%. Yeah. Yum, I reckon that's going to be delicious. What are the ingredients? You know what you could do as well? You know how they do that, um, like the cream cheese... Oh yeah, cream cheese, cheese dip. dip. with the sweet chilli sauce. What are the ingredients? Filtered water, apple cider vinegar, coconut aminos, garlic, chilli, balsamic vinegar, sea salt, tapioca, monk fruit, and ginger. So very good. How many carbs? Per? And the carbs is 1.3 per 15 grams. So a bit under a tablespoon. Probably. Well, that's mils, so oh, no, grams it, it gets confusing, but yeah, probably a tablespoon. But yeah, really excited to get cooking with this. Okay, this is another kind of pantry staple for us, which is this tazzy tallow lard. Um, really good just for frying anything, um, you know, even eggs, your eggs whatever use you eggs. use. Like it's a good kind of high heat. But, and this is like it's paddock raised pork, so it's a very good quality fat for you as far as eating it. Last thing, guys, <laughs> these have quickly become one of our favorites. So the next one, essentially keto, the stem ginger cookie. We have been really enjoying these. Cookie, good cookies are hard to come by yeah. on a keto diet, and Yes, we don't eat them every day, but these are again one of those treats like the white chocolate. When we want something um, to sweet and a treat, we go for something like this. And the good thing about having this is there's two cookies in there, so we're not you know making opening a batch a of cookies or yeah, opening a whole packet of cookies. We can each have one cookie and we're done. And they have another flavour that's like brown butter, pecan, oh, yeah. chocolate chip. Also really good, but we tried the ginger one last time and we were like, sold. The carbs are 1.4 per cookie, which is totally doable. Mm. The ingredients are butter, which means I probably shouldn't be eating them. Mm. Almond meal, eggs, monk fruit, erythritol, stevia, xanthan gum, baking soda, salt, ginger powder, ginger essence, and stem ginger. Yum. So they're, they're pretty good ingredients. Yeah, they're really nice. 
Wow, of the new stuff, well, there was a couple of new stuff that we tried. Yeah, interesting. I'm They're excited. Both good. I'm actually excited about the sweet chili sauce because we you? used to love that back in the day, and we have not had it at all since we've been low carb. So I'm excited to try some like, you know, like a chicken and cashew stir fry or something. That would be really nice. Yeah. And I was, I will say, the collagen cookie. I thought it was going to be down the broth cookie route when you were like, it's really light. But that was really interesting. Just, I've never had anything like I, it. I, I really yeah, like I these. I can live without those. I think. I'm going to take my niece and nephew to the cricket final tonight. And I might take these as a snack. So we hope you have found this interesting. Definitely go and check out Low Carb Emporium. I mean, they have so many products. This is barely the tip of the iceberg. Just, you know, our, just our favorite regular order. But yeah, check out our discount code, which is in the... Um, description below and we'll put all of the you know all of the products that we've purchased hopefully you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up if you like this type of video because if you want to see more kind of things that we order online um, we're really happy to show you just make sure you give it a thumbs up so we know that you like it or pop a comment in the um, comments below Yes, and definitely subscribe to our channel because we are crawling our way We're towards so 5,000 subscribers and we really want to get there. And so. it's a big goal for us. <laughs> Thank you so much everyone for watching. Bye. Bye.